Hi, welcome. This is a third, no, fourth video already in the Sardi series. The Sardi 9.6 has been delivered to the world, and um, first video was about how to uh, how, how does it look. Uh, if you don't like the Sardi icons, fine. There are lots of other out there. So how does it look in your system? And number two was how to install it on any distro as possible. Uh, it doesn't matter on what distribution you have or what engine you have, what theme you have, it works everywhere. Um, then number three was the flexibility. So Sardi is known to be flexible. Did you know that? You can have over 100 extra themes and that's because of the flexibility. There's also modularity. You can add and mix things together. And all this ends up into a video about the Sardi extras. So you don't need to run scripts, you can just download them, copy, paste, done, select. And this is the last page, and it's about all the distros I visited in the past. It's a work of three years, I think, more or less now, and you check it out. But um, if your distro is not in here, it doesn't mean it will not work. It's just the ones I really installed on my SSD system, and I made article, I made uh, icons for, you know. Okay, this video is about number five, so video number four, that's it, that's it video number four. And we want to make um, flexibility again, about flexibility. So in your icon theme, icons, you have here these things that you can change. Colora can be changed. Maybe an overview again, just to repeat again. What are the most important folders here, the engines which carry the weight? This is Sardi. Sardi has a lot of icons. This one has not. It inherits the ones in here. Sardi Colora inherits the one in here. So deleting these things is can be dangerous. Uh, you have to know what to do. But um, we can change elements. So Colora can be changed. Uh, this is an engine again. Let's let's go over the engines. This one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And all the rest depends on those five. That's how it works. That's why it has less megabytes and faster uh, a system because of, well, trying to figure out how to use the, that inherits, inherits line to our advantage. And if you've never seen or know what I'm talking about, it's in every index thing. It's in here. It says, if you don't find anything in Sardi, then rely on the icons of Numix Circle, then Numix, then Papyrus, then Mocha, then Surf, and Breeze. And if you don't, if you have not installed any of these, you'll always fall back on GNOME and High Color. Okay? You'll have an icon. Maybe an ugly icon, but you have an icon. All right, so scripting. We can make our own scripts. We ran in video number three, we ran all these things, but we can make more. Often it starts with some uh, inspiration. Let's get some inspiration and it's a variety that provides us, for instance, with colors. Let's do something. Happy Halloween. It's February, but hey, I just like the orange color. I say, okay, this is an orange color. That's an orange color. What if we make this a darker orange color? So like this one. So theming, this is about theming. Say I have a wallpaper, I have a conky, how can I influence my icons? You can. Well, first off, before you do anything, you should actually think. So first, you want not to lose the original ones. So Control C, Control V. You don't want to lose the original. Overwrite by accident the original ones. So I have already a name in my head. Halloween, of course. Yeah, oh, pumpkin would have been nice as well. <laughs> Halloween. Anyway, so what's next? Next is we make ourselves a new script, a script of our own. Control C, Control V. And then, very important for later, a few months later, a few months uh, in, in the future, and you say, hey, what was it again? What did I do? So keep reference to the theme you were using. So Sadi Color, you worked on that one, and then you said, hey, that, that Halloween paper, remember? Okay, so that's Sardi Colora Halloween. Okay, so maybe before we forget that as well, 
So first copy paste the folder, then go in the index theme and say Halloween. Depending on the desktop, you don't need to do it, but um, let's do it for sure. To be sure that everything, Budgie, GNOME, uh, Exifs, EI3, awesome, everything works, okay? So we have a folder called Calora Halloween. And then we have this index theme, it's called the same. I thought I saw a typo, but okay. And we have now, where is it? Hello, is it? Here it is. I've shown a lot of videos already with Atom. So of course there are other uh, text editors and you choose the one you have. Do not use LibreOffice, please. Use just text editors. Sublime Text 3, for instance, is also a nice one because you see the coloring. All that's gray is unimportant. Well, read it, but it's unimportant. Only thing I need to know from you is what of the 16,700,000 colors you want. That's what I want, the, key, the color. So then again, depending on the desktop you run, you have um, some of them provide their own uh, color picker. So that's what we need. So go look for your color picker of preference. I have GPIC and we've, um, we've done Let's see if we can, can we, can't we remove all? Yeah, remove all. And then how does GPIC work? It, you click on here, one, two, three, four, five, six, some swatches, and then it says press spacebar to sample color on a mouse. So you move everything out of the way, and then you say, I like this color and that color, and what's this color? That's almost red already. Yellow is nice, okay. This is probably more brownish, yeah, fine, fine, fine. Or at random, very fast. Oh, I think I lost it. So, very fast. And then you have a selection and say, mm, what kind of color will I want? No? But maybe, maybe let's take a look at what we have now. So we don't make the same thing, of course. So, this orange could maybe be a little bit more darker orange. This is pretty much the same, I think. So let's take one of those, okay? Doesn't matter. You right mouse click it, copy to the clipboard, done. Keep it open, you might lose the copy, which I usually do. And you have here Control C, no, Control V. Otherwise I would have lost it. And this should go, no hashtag. You see, it's not necessary because the hashtag is in fact here in the script. It's in here. So we don't need it. We save it. We have now created our own Sardi Colora Halloween. And if, if we like it, we can keep it. We can put it online again. So the only thing we have to do, folder is okay. Index team is okay. We made the script, so we run it. Okay, it's a procedure you need to have in your head, and then everything will be just fine. Halloween, it is done. That's how fast we can be flexible in Sardi. Now, the more it's this one, the more you um, have icons, the longer it will take for any desktop to load everything up. That's okay. That's for sure. That's that's normal. Um, depending on the system you're on. Look, you see still the difference. Ah, yeah. You can click and if you do it like this, you see what's going on. See? It's a little bit more reddish. Or just click and everything is red. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I thought I think I'm going to keep the scripts. The Halloween coloring. So that's how we roll here. And um, that's a possibility to do. I'll do one more because it's always the same thing. It's always the same uh, procedure, but it's good to repeat again with another um, another one. So what can I pick to make others, other ones uh, from? So where are the scripts, basically? So Sadi Colora is one, Sadi Flat Colora is one, this one, that one, that one. I uh, could maybe do one of nah. Yeah, why not? Anyway, we can do this one as well, don't forget him, this one, 
So all the ones I'm selecting now means those are have scripts and I can make my own script in there. Why not the papyrus one? And that one. So any of these folders, you open it up and you say, oh yeah, it has scripts and it has a change color. I'm going to make my own color. Procedure. Copy paste. Control C, Control V. Don't know what name it's going to be. But it's already copy pasted gonna get my uh, well, my uh, inspiration what's this for wallpaper again red I do like red of course why not dark red okay okay why not so any inspiration is good any wallpaper will do any color one of the 16 million colors you choose online maybe Google Chrome you can look it look it up um, call just type in hexadecimal code so a hashtag and then FF 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 something and then you'll see in oh, Eric, show it, show people, show people. So I was saying hashtag FF, 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 any, anything like that. And you get this in Google and then you just go about and say, okay, what color do I like? Uh, and then it, you copy paste the color. It's another possibility. I use it, I use wallpapers to get my inspiration from. Okay, that being said, um, we always should get our JPEG. JPEG. Let's get rid of it. Remove all. Let's move that one down. Let's move that one up. Click here and then sample that one. Brown, reddish. And let's go a bit faster. Yep. That's all the red things there are. Okay, fine. How would a icon look on a wallpaper? with this coloring. Which this color would be nice, maybe. Maybe that one. And now it's up to us to decide. Huh? And these things are very close. You see, zero, one, two, zero, zero, zero. I mean, sorry, but I can't see the difference between either of these three. So you have to decide. Ah, well, it's an exercise. OK, I've decided. It's in there. Um, Unfortunately, I don't have a color name again, so I think there must be something going on with GPIC right now. But hey, um, what's this about? This wallpaper, flowers, red, depth core, freestyle, that's what it says here, depth core, freestyle. Um, how about bird, guys? Doesn't matter. What's in a name? I say burn. Well, I've made a decision. It's called burn. I am going to change it here and I say it's called burn. I save it. And then I'm going to go to here. Say Ctrl C, Ctrl V. I'm going to call it. We could copy paste if you don't want to type. So Ctrl C and then Ctrl v and violet is out and burn is in okay sadly mono papyrus colora burn so i know in the future that we're using this part of the sardi icons all right now the color is gone i know for sure the color is gone <laughs> so i'm gonna copy paste it again sardi monocolora burn Open it up with any of your tools. And we have an issue. We have an issue. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, this is more complex. This needs just not just one color, but more colors. All right, let's analyze. We have here scalable places. We have a folder. And the folder is divided in three parts not just one color but three parts now we need to take one of those that uh, are have three parts so one two three we open it up with svg um well let's move that there let's move this here and let's do we need this one uh, nope not for the moment pick here. All right. No, I need something else. 
Did I close it? I guess I closed it. So color a burn. Uh, like so, uh, like so. And let's get rid of this. Can we get yes? So they want us to change the colors of the top and the body and the icons. I think that's clear. Top, body, and the icons. Okay. Maybe you say icons, they're nice. Gonna be nice on 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 red. Probably. So, what if we took that one for the body? So, oh, my apologies. Let's first test. Let's first test. See how it looks. You open this up and you say, how about that one? Oh, yeah. The black is maybe not so nice. Maybe it changes to white. We'll see. Or, I changed my mind. I'm gonna take that one. Hmm. And then a lighter red on the top. Watch out that you click on the correct one. Don't think that's the correct one yet. That's not the correct one either. That's the correct one. So you know, <laughs> yeah, I should know that a little bit. So there's not enough things, distinction between one and the other, so I'm gonna change some things manually. I'm gonna say a little lighter, darker, darker is maybe better than lighter. I don't want to be brown, not brown. Now they're almost the same, so I can say what if I take this one lighter? That's going to be too light, too bright. And that's how we check it out. This thing here is normally dark gray, but then a, something popped up in my head and said, what if we take that as a white dish? Not white, white, but a white dish. It's not that bad as look. I kind of like it. And then you've decided, okay? Let's assume you've decided and say, okay, this is what I want. So, this, Control c this is what you have as icon. Control v Now, watch out. You don't need FFs because that's defining the transparency. You don't want that. And then, we want this one, the body. Okay, that's the body. Control c uh, And then we have the body as well. Click, click. Save. The top we decided to have something darker red but watch out this is white this this can't be a correct selection you need to click correct meaning you click here somewhere in the middle i think yep that's probably it so that's the red thing Control c the top Control v forget about the ffs save our script is done it's ready to run don't save this thing don't save the folder apple we are letting the script do that. So close without saving. It's gonna be awesome, I'm sure. <laughs> it's great to be creative. So um, colors are in there. Save them. I don't know what I did, so save, done. Back to our script here. So let's check. We copy pasted everything over. We copied and the change colors. We created a new one. We called it burn. It's also burned here. Okay, check. We didn't forget anything. And we have a burn and we changed the colors in here to be red. We had difficulty, meaning uh, rather uh, the first one was one color. Now we have three colors. We had to figure it out a little bit in Inkscape and use that one. Now, the moment of truth. Burn. One, two, done. Let's see how well it goes with this wallpaper. So, appearance, icons, B -b 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 burn. Ah, that's a red one. Close. Open up a file manager. Uh uh, not bad as I thought. Not bad at all. Mm. With this wallpaper, that looks astonishing good. So, print screen, my friends. 
for the website alloydubois.be. So we made a new icon theme. It's that easy, and that's that's uh, the fun I think in Arch. Uh, <laughs> a wrong word in Savdi. Um, we can change elements. We can use elements, and maybe let's say, take a look at one more because I might this might have been difficult. This might have been difficult. I don't know what your experience is with Inkscape, but there are others here. Let's see if we can. Um, uh, see if I have other difficult ones. So this one, change color, again has three parts. So this is an ink escape exercise for you. Or you think, uh, take a guess of course, but it's uh, probably better to open it up and see how it works. Savvy Mono is also um, three parts, or it's even four. Maybe we should make an exercise of that one. Four. Let's do one of those. So it's uh, really understood how to do it. So again, procedure. We want to make something new. All right. First of all, a wallpaper. How about that one? No, it's too blurry. Uh, hey, we never made a purple one. Close. Let's make a purple one with some kind of Pokemon or I don't know, know what it is. Minimalistic thing. But um, let's call it Pokemon then. Eh? Why not? So, Sadi Mono New Mix Colora, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Procedure. We copy paste it so the originals have not been tempered with. We have already a, a, one named Violet, so that's why I'm going to take Pokemon. All right. Index team. We need it from some of the desktops. Save. Savvy is meant to be for all desktops. Okay, so change color, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. I'm lazy at typing, so Ctrl C, I'm gonna take this one and so I don't have to type too much, that's all, and call it color Pokemon. Nothing has been changed, of course not. So if you go inside here, places, this is what we're talking about. This is the icon, the body, the top, and something in there, which I call, I think, paper. So take one of those, of course, um, well, open it with, if it's not opening with Inkscape, open it with Inkscape, you can open it with lots of things. Inkscape is the best one for now. Let's move it to the same places as it was in the other tutorial. So we have that, we have our own scripts, which is Hold. Where are your Pokemon? Have I made already a copy? I thought so. Okay, mistake. So, re edit. I was too lazy. It's not tropical Pokemon, but it's Pokemon. So, that was a better copy. So, we're using Sadi Mono Colora, so Sadi Mono Numix Colora, and it's Pokemon. Fine. Double click. Oops, too late. Let's get that one over here. We're going to need it later. So first off, we decide what color we want to have. Now, if we... Let's move to the other desktop. Let's get our JPEG here. And get this thing here. Because uh, what color is this? So, basically, that one. <laughs> that one. That one, that one. Very easy, but actually not so bad for my educational purposes because we need four of them. Aha. Nice. So, uh, back to desktop here. So it would be, it might be interesting to have that JPEG. Um, let's see. What could we use? We could use this one for. We could use this one for that eye element here, but like I said, it's just a little practice. Sometimes you need to press Control as well, Control, and then click on it, and then you have it. I'm not sure if this is the color I need because normally just click on here and this icon, and you should see 
colors pop up. I press Ctrl to the left of my keyboard. Left of my keyboard. So that's correct. That's indeed the gray one. But I want to select the yellow one and I'm not able. Yes, I'm able now to select it. So I thought, hey, what if I take this for pink? Mm -hmm. All right. What about then as a major color, body color, that one? So the body color, control click. Let's take that one. Mm -hmm. Actually, I like it the way it is now, but we did have another color here and black as well. Black as well. What if we take that color and change it like so? No. That or that. Control Z, Control Y. I'm gonna take this one. Okay. So well, I'm happy. This is what I like. I like the icons also the same. I don't want it to have different color. Could be could be making it black. Could have a a look at it but I don't think it's, it will be nice but uh, we can try and show oh yeah so there are three parts in here so you have to actually say tell them with control and shift you can select uh, both of them but um, I'm not gonna do it I don't think it will be nice so this is my coloring scheme then you go to your editor of preference and you scroll down and see these are the old things these are the new things so control the purple is that one that's the body body is the biggest that's the most important color that's the one that you really need to like and then the paper color let's really try again it's a difficult thing here yeah i got it use the control paper color yep that's that without the ff if you forget it it goes wrong new back color that's that one again yep i have it okay let's see that's the back color without ff save and i'm keeping the colors as i were you can make it a little bit brighter uh, that's up to you not saving this inkscape is just used as a tool as a canvas to design and to be uh, tweaking and to be creative that's it now the moment of truth we have changed the script this is our sadly pokemon one open terminal here and then we say run it see that you have actually if you have um, that you are in your uh, i forgot an a here let's see but okay it's not important not for now and we can run the polo and the pokemon one two that was it so like i told you the this is a typo here i see sabimono colora pokemon that's the right one and let's go select it how ugly or, or beautiful is it that's always a question how will it look? How will it look? We all already saw, but okay. No, 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 no. I'm gonna take a screenshot. This is what we got. This is what you created. This is what you can do. This is the flexibility of the Sadi icons. That's why I say I really want to give you this power because if I give PNGs, you can do squat. If I give SVGs, you can open it. And let's show you, by the way, let's take something here. Right mouse click, open with. You can edit these things, you can change these things. So it's a text file, basically. <laughs> so that's the power, and that's what we're using here, this power via these scripts. So um, I think that covers it. I mean, it's all about using tools, about creativity, and about not losing the original ones. But of course, you just download them again from SourceForge or install it again from the AOR. And that's that. Um, well, 
have fun and share your screenshots with me so I see that Sardi is being used. All right, cheers.